So let's come down onto the mat again. I'm going to stretch out my wrist. This is my usual warm up. Obviously, you understand. Usually, when we type on our keyboards, it's really very long drawn, and we end up not stretching our wrist in this weird, funny way. So in this position, I take a little bit longer to warm up because I'm like most office workers, super stiff, <laughs> super tired, super stressed, right? So you want to very slowly lower your wrist. By two months, actually we are down to two, more than two months into circuit breakup. Um, just take a check in on your own body to see whether you're a little bit more used to having load of your wrist, whether you're able to push your shoulders past your wrist a little bit more. And whether you're used to having your thumbs um, squeezing, that means your knuckles are down to the floor and only your, your, your fingertips also can press into the ground. Usually over time, our muscles get used to it. The first time is always a little bit more painful. Alright, rock your shoulders forward, keeping a slight punch in your shoulders, which means that you want to protract your shoulders. Protracting just means pushing away from your hands, keeping your elbows straight. So you draw semi-circles with your, with what, with your shoulders. Rock you from side to side. You want to understand how that feels on your pressure on the base of the knuckles. So we get over here. And then very slowly set the point, you're feeling to outward and just swing from side to side. So all of these different directions is to just get our knuckles, get our, get our wrist used to it. I like how um, I can talk very fast and you all just uh, keep up. But anytime you all don't understand, know that after this session, I always just get up on chat. You can always DM me after, um, after lesson to clarify some stuff. So that's how I love it. Point your fingers towards the back. And same thing, you're gonna sort of lift even your palms off as you rock, as you stretch the base of your fingers. So you rock forward, rock it back, <sighs> forward, back, forward, back, forward. Three more times, lady. So the turn your fingers inwards, facing front, and keep curling inwards. You notice that my fingers are facing slowly, slowly coming towards my knees. Even my elbows are bent. I'm gonna straighten it up. So as you straighten it up, your elbows are pointing forward, and you're rounding your entire shoulders. It takes a very different stretch across your wrist as well. As you lower your hands a little bit more differently, then your elbows slowly release. So to bring down the back of my hands, fingers face each other. So you're gonna slowly start to do your push up in this way. For those who are familiar, you sort of place your shoulders above your wrist, placing your fingernails onto the ground, do your push-ups, elbows bent. As you push it up, focus on straightening the elbows so you load into your wrist the other direction. Bend it, slowly straighten. Each time you straighten, take a little more time over here, look like pause a little longer. Then bend, straighten. Just about three more times. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Last one, bend. Straighten. You either stay here or you turn your fingers back towards your knees and everyone will know whether your fingers are fall, facing each other or facing back. I want you to rotate the eye and the elbows forward. So your biceps are pointing forward. You can lean back slightly if you want to. If you want a deeper stretch, you can curl your fingers to try to touch your wrist. So by the side view, it looks like this. Okay. It's a bit hard, but it's a nice, nice stretch over here. Very slowly bend the elbows, release that all the way into these fingers and just roll it out one round each time and then very slowly reach your hands out. This is my favorite for Erica for doing the finger little stuff. <laughs> you want to start either setting out the same onto your heel or you want a deeper one, you can start swapping down already. Whatever works for you. So to stretch your hands outwards and sort of open, open wider, open, open wider, start to move a bit faster and stretch out your hands. This is about stretching out and warming up your four muscles here. As you pull your shoulders back, getting yourself a nice back upright as well. So we're doing everything all in one go. If this feels too tight for you, you can always kneel down. Or you can just have to do this if you want to. If you want to work out exercise a little bit, a little bit more, this is what I do. Coming into a chair pose, coming to, into a camera pose. So these are all the things that you can do if you just want to make your exercise a little bit more efficient. This is really tough, by the way. If you lower down, you keep going. Alright, I'm just kidding. Four, five, four. Three, two, one, shake it up. All right, let's come down onto the mat. You should be a little bit more ready with your hands down onto the mat. Grip the mat, come into your cow spine pose. As you inhale, lower chest, lower belly, look forward. Focus on looking forward as you pull the shoulders back. 
your chest is trying to pick in follow to the front of the leg. This allows you to go into your back bend over here. Take one more breath as you inhale. Exhale, round your chest spine. Focusing on pushing away from your shoulders. Even trying to point your biceps forward so you lock in your elbows over here. Inhale into your curled spine. Looking forward. Focus on pulling shoulders back. Focus on the squeeze in the sports bras here for all those ladies. So it's like trying to squeeze the, the sports bra in between your back muscles here. Exhale, round it. Focusing on trying to push hard away from your straight elbows so you can even try to protract and point the other elbows forward to lock it in here. Good. Inhale into your curl spine. Again, you don't want to lift the chin up too much. You want to focus on your shoulders trying to pull back. Imagine you're trying to drag your palms towards the back of the mat as you try to pull all the way back. This should feel your back crunchier. Exhale, round it. Very nice. Inhale back to neutral tabletop pose, tuck both toes in as you close your knees below your hips. Rounding your spine slightly, keep your belly button drawn in for a nice neutral spine here, loading into your wrist. Next inhale, stretch your right foot all the way back, point your right toes down, make noticing that you, if your lower back is arching, suck that belly button in. Maintain a super neutral spine right here, take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, pull your right knee over to your right shoulder, touch. Inhale, straight knee towards the back, squeeze the right up. Exhale, pull your right knee over to your right el elbow or shoulder touch. Inhale, straight knee all the way back. Exhale, pull your right knee over to your right shoulder. Feel the squeeze along the hip flexors over here. And inhale, straight knee back. Now bend the right knee again, keeping your right heel up to the ceiling. Can you round the shoulders even more? Can you suck the belly button a little bit more? Do not arch your lower back. No space for taxi bump over here. So the squeeze around, right keep your right heel up to the ceiling a little bit more. Exhale, lower down to hip height. Inhale, squeeze, reach out a little bit more. Exhale, lower down hip height. One more time. Inhale, squeeze, reach it out a little bit more. Exhale, lower right knee down to the ground, shake out your hips. Super efficient workout here. <laughs> Tuck the toes in again. The next inhale, reach the left leg towards the back of the room. Flex the left toes down. You want to get it nice, straight, and strong now. Round the shoulders, suck that belly button in. Notice, do not downward into your lower back here. You want to keep sucking the belly button in to keep the flat spine. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, or left triceps. Feel the squeeze, feel the crunch along the obliques. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, crunch it in. Activate your side. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, reach your back. Just bend the left knee, left heel points up to the ceiling. Watch your lower back, tuck the tailbone down towards the end of the mat. One more time. Now squeeze the left bum. Inhale, kick it up to the ceiling a little bit more. Exhale, lower down the hip height. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, lower down the hip height. Last one. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, lower left knee down to the ground. Keep both toes tucked in. Send the bum up, downward, facing dog. Shake it up. And you shake it over here, let your shoulders relax, let your chest melt a little bit more towards your ankles. You can continue to shake it out, or you can just rest into a downward facing dog. You can choose either if your shoulders are tight, so the bounce your chest towards your thighs, or you can bend one year at a time, you can your knees and your hamstrings are tight. Or if you want to stretch out your uh, sides, you can keep one foot up to the ceiling if you want to. So it's your choice. You've got two more breaths over here as you inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Use the exhalation to slowly come into a still as you're down, facing up. Bring your feet close together. And next inhale, reach your right leg up to the ceiling. Open up, scorpion and tail. In your scorpion and tail, can you press the right shoulder down to your ground so your shoulders are sweat down to your ground? Then you stretch from your left hamstring muscles. Back on the side. Pointing your right knee up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch along the right flexors muscles here. Lift the left heel even higher. Exhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Slowly roll forward. Look between your hands. Step right foot forward between your hands. Sing the left knee down to the ground. You can point the left toes back if you're really used to all these low lunge poses. So you can keep the left toes up in your choice. Make sure your right knee is above the right foot. Yeah. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the ceiling. And as your hands up to the ceiling, just check your own posture again today. You don't want to dump your weight into your lower back. You just want to keep the belly button drawn in and away from your front thigh. So a lot of engagement onto the back thigh, especially your hip flexors here. Taking one more breath as you inhale. As you exhale, lean for just 45 degrees, pressing into your right big toe, feeling the pressure along the right hip flexors muscle. Inhale, reach up. Maybe take a back bend if you want to lift up 
and sort of reach your hands to the back if you want to. Do not downweight the lower back. Exhale, neutralize. Lean for just 20 degrees over here. Inhale, come straight up. Either stay or just lift the chest into a very mild back bend. Exhale, lean for 20 degrees. Two hands towards the back of the room. Straighten your right knee, point your right toes up. Keep reaching your hands towards the back. So you keep lifting the chest up. You don't want to dump all the way forward. But keep pointing your right toes up and digging the right heels down to your ground. It's your own active stretch over here. One more breath as you inhale. Exhale, re the right knee, strip your hands up to the ceiling two more times. Re uh, straighten your right knee, reach your hands all the way back. You don't need to reach all the way forward, but your nose can aim forward if you want to. Re the right knee, come back all the way up. Exhale, reach towards the back, straighten your over here. Inhale, re bend, reach all the way up. Exhale, fingertips down onto your ground. Notice I always say fingertip because I don't want to dump your weight onto the, onto the entire hand. So stay onto your fingertip. You're going to twist from your waist. Inhale, stretch your right hand all the way up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch as you're twisting from your waist over here. You want to focus on seeing your hips lower, but you're using your breath as you inhale. Expand your right hand a little bit higher. Feel, feel the stretch along the waist. And as you exhale, lower right hand down next to your right foot. Good. Very slowly, point your right toes 45 degrees up. So for those who joined me yesterday, you all did this earlier. You're going to lift your inside of your right foot up as you press down onto your left hand. This is when your left hand can go slightly in front of the left shoulder so that it doesn't arch your uh, wrist too much. And then you're going to slowly start to look over to the right. Press your right hand inside your right thigh and start to bounce the hips a little bit more. What you're trying to do is to drag the right heel towards your left knee, so you're engaging your bum slightly, and you're trying to stay very nice and strong. And then once you're done, you're going to go with about two more bounces. Sing it towards the lowest and stretch your right hand towards the back of the room. We know where this is going. Bend the back knee. Squeeze it a little bit more. Do not grab just yet. Squeeze it in. I want you to feel that hamstring stretch. Hamstring squeeze. Then grab the outer edge of the back foot. Now, point the toes up and kick into it and you sink your hips down a little bit more over here. What you're doing is you're opening up the right shoulder and kicking into it. At the same time, I just want you to activate the muscles that are bringing your left heel towards the left arm. You're going to end up in one breath. Inhale. Now, keeping the same shape, exhale, just release the right hand up to the ceiling by keeping the left heel close to your bum for three, for two, and one, right hand down, inside right foot, lower left foot down, tuck the left toes in. Point your right foot forward. Good. Listen, lunge is where we're going to be. Hands below your shoulders, tuck the left toes in. Lift the left knee up as you stay in your little lunge pose. What you're doing over here is you're trying to feel the squeeze of the right flexors and to sink into the right hips. And to straighten the left knee, you're going to feel a stretch along the left hip flexors. If it is too much for you, if you're hunching already, come out onto your hands. The key thing is keeping your back nice and upright. Maybe option one, stay onto your hands. Option two, fingertips. Option three, just come up into a very nice sit little lunge here. What you're doing is you're keeping this entire pressure here and you're keeping this bum really strong. Don't believe use a bum. Use a finger to poke. All right? For three, for two, and one, hands down onto your ground. Round your shoulders. I want you to step into plank from this position. Plank pose over here. Take one breath as you inhale. Round the shoulders. Use the toes. Shift forward. Good. You're going to stay in plank, loading your shoulders a little bit more. If this is too uncomfortable for you, come up to your knees. For five, draw your belly button in. For four, can you push your shoulders a little bit more forward? Tuck the toe down with the spine. For toes, are three. Keep sucking the belly button in for two. Getting ready for chaturanga. And one, chaturanga. Hop those elbows in. Turn your elbows really squeeze them all the way in. Point your toes back. Inhale, glide up. High cobra up dog. Your choice over here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Feet are close together. Do I have a touch? Doesn't really matter. And then inhale, stretch the left leg up to the ceiling. Open up, scope and tip. Scorpion tail over here is a point of left up to the ceiling and you feel a stretch along the right hip, uh, right hand street. Square the left shoulder down, which means the left arm fit must point to the floor a little bit more. Next, inhale, lift the right heel off the ground. Exhale, pull the left knee in from the chest. Roll forward, squeeze the left knee even more between your hands. Step left foot forward between your hands. Sink your right knee down to the mat. Inhale, rise up into your low lunge pose. 
making sure that your entire hip flexors range is all nice and are engaged here. And then drag to sink a lower if you want to. Very nice. Take one breath as you inhale, stretch out a little bit more, create a gap between your belly button and your thigh. Exhale, so just lean for 20 degrees only. I want you to load the hip flexors along the left foot, uh, left thigh. Inhale, straighten up. Maybe you want to end your back bend by lifting the chest up only. Exhale, lean for 20 degrees only. Inhale, straighten up. Option to show your back bend to lift the chest up. Exhale, lean forward, three degrees. Two hands to the back, roll the shoulders back, squeeze shoulder blades together, straighten the left knee, point the left toes up. I need to look forward and dig the left heel down into the ground. You can feel the strength a lot of the left hamstring muscles. Inhale, remain the left knee, straighten the hands up. Exhale, two hands back, press into the left heel as you stretch that hips back. Inhale, come back. Last one. Exhale, stretch it back, reach your nose forward, push your hips all the way back, press the left knee down to the ground a little bit more. Inhale, rebend, fingertips down onto the ground. Again, from your waist, press into your right fingertips only. Inhale, twist, reach that left hand up. You notice I have almost no weight over here. You can even lift your hands up, but you want to take the twist from your waist to reach a little bit higher, making sure that you get your twist by pulling your right hip bone forward a little bit more over here. One more breath. Exhale, left fingertips down to frame your front foot. Now you're going to press down into your right hand, walk it slightly forward. You're going to start to point the left toes up 45 degrees. Good. Left hand inside your left thigh as you look towards the side. Keep flexing the left toes as you try to dig the left toe, left heel down the ground and pulling the left heel back towards the back knee. Allow yourself to balance over here. What you're trying to do is to open up the hip flexors. Open up the left glute muscles a little bit more. Allowing two more bounces for two. And one, just stay over here. Very slowly reach the left hand toward the back. Now you're going to bend the right knee, pull it in, do not grab just yet. Try to pull it a little bit more in. You should feel that right hand three muscles really grab for three, for two, and one, grab it. Now you can sit a little bit lower over here. You can roll the left shoulder back as you kick into your left hand a little bit more. What you're doing is you're getting used to the shape as that left elbow pulls in. So your right, your right foot knows how to stay over there. Taking one more breath as you inhale, so to squeeze the right heel to your right butt. Exhale, release, but not keep drop your right toes for three, for two. And one, reach the left hand up, left hand goes down inside the left foot. Right toes can go down. Point the left toes forward, point the left knee forward, little lunge pose. Hands off the left below your shoulders, keep the right toes stuck in just simply straight hands up, right knee. And you're straight your right knee, you're going to feel like, oh, super stretchy, super pain, you don't know, you know what's happening, but different people have different uh, little lunges over here. You can stay on your fingertips, or you can come up to sit. You want to load this a lot more, you want to straighten the back bump a lot more, and really squeeze for three. For two, and one, plant both hands down to the floor. Simply, as gracefully as possible, steadily as possible, just step back to plank. Plank goes over here, take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, shift shoulders forward, keep running your shoulders a lot more here. For three, for two, see, I never say five, right? For one, lower down, chaturanga. Chaturanga, squeeze into your elbows, roll the shoulders back, up dog, or high cobra here. High Cobra Pose, take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, sink all the way down to your mat, belly button down onto the floor. Elbows below your shoulders, palms down onto the ground. Sphinx pose coming up, roll the shoulders back. I want you to pull the chest forward as you pull your elbows towards the back of the mat. So you're not pressing down your elbows, you're pulling your elbows back over here. Option two, press into your hands. Maybe straighten the elbows, pull your palms towards the back of the mat. So you're using some tricep strength over here, so you're not dumping, you're actually pulling back really, really steadily here a little bit more. Very nice. Very slowly lower elbows down to the mat again. <sighs> Once you're here, I want you to wind your feet to the width of the mat. Squeeze your bum a lot. You're going to walk your hands up just at shoulder, and where your shoulders are, not at chest, where your shoulders are. You're going to roll your shoulders back and lift up into a 
sort of like a high cobra, but I want you to focus on squeezing your bum to put your low back. Roll your shoulders back a little bit more. Squeeze your bum, tuck your toe, uh, your toenails must teach, reach down to the ground. Now, press into both hands and look over to your right shoulder, trying to gaze towards the center of the mat at the back of you. Inhale, come to the center, keep pushing yourself up, and reach over, look over your left shoulder, try to deep and twist at the same time. So you can fall a lower all the way down, walk your hands below your armpits, as your hands are nipple line, your tuck your toes in, close your feet in closely. Now, round your shoulders, in the next inhale, I want you to squeeze the mat between your hands to create a gap between the chest and the floor. Suck your belly button, creating a gap between the belly button and the floor. You can push up to your knees or strap a plank or a one go. See you in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, feet are close together. You can touch that at the back of the mat if you want to. In this inhale, reach your right leg up to the ceiling. Open up, scorpion tail one more time. Fire on your core very soon. Exhale, right knee towards the chest. Roll it forward. Pause. Inhale, open up, scorpion tail. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, touch, mask, touch, mask, touch. Try it, pull, pull forward a little more. Inhale, swing it all the way up, open up. Exhale, one more time, right knee, left elbow, touch. Option one, stay. Option two, straight the right foot, but hover it off the mat for three. For two, and one, open up that uh, stop and tail. Lift on your left heel, come on to your left fingertip. Coming to wild thing, so we're going to alter Asia of your left foot. If possible, don't drop your wild thing. Try to slowly lift your right hand up. Squeeze the right heel down to your butt. If your foot drops, it drops, doesn't matter. But try your best. Squeeze the right heel up to your butt. A little more for three, for two. And one, look down. Right finger down, come up onto your left foot. Three legged dog over here. One more breath as you inhale. Exhale, running over to your chest. Step right foot forward between your hands. Swing your left knee down one more time. Inhale, rise up into your normal low lunge pose. Low lunge pose, focusing on, let me not knock in my head again. <laughs> palms to heart center. As you bring your palms to heart center here, I keep my hands. Sucking the belly button in. <laughs> as you inhale, take one breath. As you exhale, just twist over to your right. What you want to do over here is imagine pulling the left hip bone forward and pulling the right heel to the back. This is how your hips are helping you to twist. Stay for one more breath as you inhale. Exhale, open up your hands towards the front and the back. Try to see how much you can sway your shoulders towards the right. Good. Take one deep breath as you inhale, reach your right hand towards the back. Exhale, lower right hand down, left hand goes up. Don't have to touch your thighs or your palm doesn't matter. Next inhale, come in the center. Exhale, left hand down next to your right, right foot. Reach the right hand up, tuck the left toes in, lift the left knee off the ground. Twist the lunge pose, inner side, twist the side lunge over here. One more breath as you inhale. Ground right into your left hand. Very slowly pick your right foot up and step the right foot behind your left knee as you lift up back into your wall thing pose. One more breath as you inhale. And as you exhale, look down, come back to plank. Plank pose over here, take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, lower right elbow down, followed by your left elbow coming to your low plank pose. Low plank pose, squeeze your bum, touch your feet to the back of the mat a lot more over here. Take one deep breath as you inhale, point your right toes to the back of the room. Exhale, pull the right knee over to the left triceps, try to touch it a little bit more and fall for five. Heels are up, four, three, squeeze it in for two. And one step back to your uh, low plank. In your low plank over here, slowly draw your chin down, walk your feet in, dolphin pose. Dolphin pose, and push your chest towards the back of the mat, push your shoulders towards the back of the mat a little more, holding here, two breaths when you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Press into your hands, if you're able to lift both elbows off into downward facing dog, Walk back to your original position and now facing the other I see you over there. Bring your feet together, touch at the back of your neck and it's in the reach and left up to the ceiling. Open up, scope and tail. Exhale, left knee over to your chest. Pause. Inhale, open up, scope and tail. Exhale, left knee right elbow. 
Massage. Pause. Inhale, open up. Smoke it till. One more time. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Touch and hold. Or stretch the right foot over to the side. Heart rate for three. For two. And one. Open up. Scope and tail. Lift the right heel off the floor. Come on to your left knee. We're going to prepare into a wild thing, but we're going to drop super down to our right. I'll edge of your right foot. Put a slowly lift the left hand up. As you squeeze the left heel over to your bum, you're trying to hover in your wall thing over here for five, four, three, two, one. Look down, left hand down, come up into your three legged dog. Left leg straight and strong. Take one breath over here as you inhale. Exhale, pull your left knee over to your nose, step left foot forward between your hands. Sing the right down to the ground, rise up, no lunge pose, come to heart center. <sighs> Take one breath over here, keep sucking the belly button in. And as you exhale, I want you to pull the right heel forward as you twist over to the left. What this does is your hips are helping you square. You're trying to pull the left heel back and you're trying to pull the right heel forward. Got it? Good. Maintaining this posture, start to stretch your hands out over to the side. While you stretch your hands out over to the side, keep the hips square, keep this uh, twisted pose over here, reach the left hand back, drop it down as your right hand goes up. What you're trying to do is maintain this lunge, this just a pose, come back to the center, right hand down, left hand goes up. Tuck the right toes and lift the right knee off the floor, keep reaching, and then very slowly, you're going to come to a well thing look alike, pull the left knee up, pick it up, and step it behind your right knee. Lift it up, well thing. And what you're doing, you're going to slowly come down into your plank pose. Lower down to your left elbow, lower down to your right elbow, and see. Part your low plank for five, four, three, squeeze the toes together, two. Pick your left toes up, exhale, left knee towards your right elbow, and touch for five, four. Squeeze the left knee off your bum, three, two, one. Step it back, car. Lower hips down to the ground. As you slowly lower down to your elbows, I want you to start to bend the left knee. I did this with Erica yesterday, so the same thing as you did again. So to pull your right, reach your right left hand behind, and bend the elbows, pulling it all the way as much as possible. Once you got this going, you're trying to stretch your left thigh muscles, and then if you're able to, you can sort of press the palms down, pointing your elbows up to drive the left foot down a lot more, taking a nice stretch pose over here. Allow yourself to stretch, allow yourself to twist it up. Three, two, one. Lower left elbow down, bend the right knee. Good. Lift the elbow, up, reach your right hand inside and try to pull it in as much as possible. If you can, drive it down. Palms on top of your toes as you point your right elbows up. Three, two, one, slowly bend. Hands by your shoulders. Lower down your chest, tap your toes in. Reset yourself in this um, almost coming up the plank pose. So squeeze your flat, you know, squeeze the belly between your hands, squeeze the elbows in, suck that belly button in, create a gap between your chest and your belly button, tailbone tucks down to the back of the mat. Push up the plank or assist the plank, your choice. Exhale down, facing dog. Now, face okay, so take a breath as you inhale, so bring your feet close together, touch the back of the mat. Open them up, slide out, allow yourself to take a nice stretch over here. Ah. Next inhale, open up into your scorpion tail over there, right goes all the way up. Exhale, pull your right knee over to your left elbow. This time around, super down to inside of your left foot. Stretch your right leg up, option one, right toes down to the ground, option two, hover your right foot. Lift the left leg off the ground. Good. Take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, left hand goes down, right leg goes all the way up. Exhale, step right foot forward between your hands. In your rise up, high lunge pose here. In your high lunge pose, take one breath, making sure that your hips are squared towards the front of the mat. Exhale, palms to heart center. Yeah, she's starting to twist already. Inhale, chest up, suck the belly button in. Exhale, twist, left elbow touches your right knee on top. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist, left elbow outside, right knee, don't hook. 
Inhale back to center. Exhale, right, left elbow outside right thigh, maybe. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left elbow, touch up your right hip if possible, twist a little bit harder. Inhale back to center. Exhale to twist. All the way, don't touch, just let it rest over there. Lift your elbow one inch off your knee, reach your right hand back, reach the left hand forward. Slowly press into your back toes and rise up into a twist and lunge pose here. Pull the left elbow forward, keep twisting towards the back and try to get your hips nice and twist over here for five. Four, three, two, one. Reach back, drop the right hand down and let your left hand go up. Sit a little deeper into your twisted uh, reverse warrior here. One more breath as you inhale. Exhale, return back. Left finger down onto the floor. Right hand goes up. All right, slowly start to keep your right knee bent. Just step the left foot forward. Bring your palms to heart center. Chair pose. Chair pose over here. Take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, never let it go. Sit down a little bit more. One more breath as you inhale. Exhale, straight to knees. Shoot your hands all the way up. Neutralize your spine. Stop your belly button in. Exhale, palms to heart center. Squeeze your palms with each other. Separate out the elbows, keeping your shoulders nice and broad over here. Take one breath as you inhale. Allow your heart rate to slow down as you slowly exhale. All the way up. Next inhale, pull the left knee all the way over the chest. Stay over here, wrap your hands in front of your knee, pull it out a little bit more. So the point of the right left toe is down, or press the left toe, your choice. Now you're going to try to keep the knee on top and then slowly let go, bring your palms to the center. Squeeze the right arm cheek a little bit more. Very nice. And then very slowly twist over to your left. Right hand comes on to the outer edge of your left foot, left hand goes back. Good. This is a level one. Level two, reach your right hand all the way down to grab the inside of your outer edge of your left foot. Keep the knee high up. Option two, maybe let go and stay one inch off the mat. Option three, straighten that left foot, reaching the left hand a little more. Option four, let go for three, for two, and one. Kick the left foot back, spin your both hands down to the ground, Standing splits as we reach the left foot all the way up. Hands go down. You want to focus on the stretch over here as you squeeze the left arm to lift the left arm even higher. You want to challenge yourself also by bringing your hands, maybe one hand at a time, off the mat. So it's a true standing split. It's not a shortened, super short one leg down, facing down. You can use your right hand to hug behind your right calf muscles to bring your nose a little closer down to the floor. We're going to hang in here for five, four, three, two, one, both hands down. I'm big each back side. I'm going to handstand my way back into your Chaturanga flow through Vinyasa if you want to. Or you can simply meet back in downward facing dog over here. See you in downward facing dog. I kind of forgot what we did earlier on. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this one triangle, yes. So bring your feet close together, touch the air, right on the mat. next inhale, send the left leg up to the seat, open up, scoop the tail. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, touch. Straighten out the left foot, touch down to your ground, spin on the inner edge of your right toes. And then I'll lift the left foot all the way up into your fallen triangle for five, four, three, Two, one, right hand goes down, left foot goes on your open up, swap your tail. Exhale, so left foot fall between your hands. Inhale, rise up, high lunge pose here. High lunge pose, palms to heart center, keeping your right bum cheek not squeeze. Use your right hand, pop, pop, pop your bum. It must be really, really hard. And just sit down a little bit more, making sure your hips are square towards the ground. Very nice. Now, keep your high lunge pose and inhale, chest up. Exhale, right elbow touches your top of your left knee. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right elbow outside, left knee touch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right elbow outside, left thigh touch. Inhale, back to center, last one. Exhale, right elbow over to your left hip touch. Inhale, back to center. 
What I just say? Oh, exhale, twist, and touch the elbow. Good. Keeping hover over here, or you can just rest your elbow down onto your thigh. Doesn't really matter. Stretch your left, left hand back. Take your right hand forward. Slowly rise up. Maintain your twist. Keep reaching your left hand back. Keep pulling the right hand more forward for five. Sit a bit deeper, four. Three. Final twist, two. One left hand goes down, right hand goes up. Sit a little deeper into your left knee for five. Four, three, two, one. Return back slowly. Uh, what I just say, right hand down to the ground, left hand goes up. Nice. Stay. And now very slowly, you're going to pull the right knee in and step forward. Bring your palms to heart center. Chapels. Chapels over here. Take one right hand. Inhale. Turn it over now. Exhale, sit a bit deeper. Whew. My thighs are burning, I know. Take one more breath as you inhale. Exhale, shoot straight up, squeeze the bum. Reach your hands up, neutralize the spine. Exhale, palms and heart center. I'm not going to be able to see you all later on. We're going to twist over to the other side. Next inhale, step from on your left foot. Pull the right knee all the way up. I like to point my right toes down and just squeeze it a little bit more. Or you can point right toes up if it helps you pull the knee up a little bit higher. And so your fingers, pull in a little bit more. Now, I want you to imagine this hip bone pulling back. So you're sucking the belly button and pulling all the way back as you pull the left knee out a little, right knee out a little bit more. Good. And then very slowly keep it there. Palms will help send the twist over to the right. Now, option one, grab the outer edge of the right side with your left hand. Reach the right hand back. Option two, wriggle right hand all the way down. Hold it there or hover your right foot off. Right hand off, left hand off the right foot. Option three, kick it forward. Keep twisting. Option four, lift for three, two, whoa. And one, spin your hands both down, reach your right hand all the way back. Setting splits. Setting splits, feel free to open up your hips a little bit more and squeeze the right bum cheek. You can slowly release one hand at a time as you stand onto your balancing leg. There's a lot of strength in standing splits over here. You can use the left hand to pull yourself even closer towards the left thigh. You can choose to square your hips if you want to, or open it up if you want to for five, four, three, two, one. Both hands down, turn around. If you want to try, go ahead and do so. Either hop back or float your vinyasa or handstand if you want to. Downward dog is very neat. Take one breath over here as you inhale. Hold my mouth, slide out. Lifting the little heels high up, roll for a high plank pose. Five slow counts, go to low, hover down the way down, down the chaturanga. So reach your knee forward, shiver forward, and five, bend your elbow side. Four, tuck your elbow down. Three, elbow to your chest. Two, just still hovering. And one down to the ground. <sighs> Let me take a break. Actually, you should take a break, but I'm not done yet just yet. Now bend the left knee again. Find the inside of the left foot with your left hand again. Lift yourself up with your right elbow a little bit more. And so pull the left knee even more down to the ground. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly start to try, try, try. You're gonna lean down onto your shoulder and you're gonna try to reach your right hand over to your left foot. Lift yourself up and try to wriggle out more, a little bit more. Got it? You're in this twist. Lift your bend your right knee, left knee, right knee, yes, right knee. Grab it with your left hand. Good. If you're in this weird twisting position and you feel really good to stay, option two, kick both legs into both hands and lift your shoulders off the ground for five, four, three, two, one, lower. Release. Down to your ground. Good job. So that was a nice stretch for fun, which I was trying out yesterday. <laughs> and then when you're done, let's all come down into the tabletop pose. Tabletop pose over here, finding back your neutral spine, because what we just did earlier on is just really twisted up here. Okay? And you come down into your tabletop pose, tuck your toes in. Close your knees below your 
hips for good effort. And the next inhale, keep the right foot all the way towards the back of the room. As you exhale, pull the right knee in towards your chest. Try to hover your right toes just off the floor for three, for two, and one. Kick it all the way back, settle your right knee down onto the ground. This is my way of neutralizing your spine by using some at work, core work over here. Next inhale, kick the left foot all the way back. And as you exhale, pull the left knee into the chest, round the entire shoulder, push into the mat a little bit more for five, four, three, two, one. Reach it all the way back. Place the left knee down to the ground. With your both toes together, to touch, press into your hands, lift back up into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog over here. Take one deep breath as you inhale. Open your mouth, slide up. Very nice. Press with both hands. The next inhale, reach your right leg up. This time around, do not open. Just square your hips down to the floor, right foot falling down to the ground. Good. So press onto your left leg. So walk your left finger towards your left foot. You're balancing onto your right hand, left foot mainly. Keep your head dropping down. Option one, stay. Option two, so to reach the left hand towards the back of the room. For five, four, three, two, one. Replace left hand back down onto the ground. All your right toes order to the seat. Lift the left heel off the ground as you inhale. Exhale, pull the left knee into the right elbow, touch over here. This is where you're going to start to really work. Squeeze the left knee in close, swivel down to the inside of your, sorry, squeeze the right knee in close, swivel down to the inside of your left foot, coming up into sort of like a fallen triangle while keeping your knee still bent over here. Now you're going to try to point the right knee directly up to the ceiling as you stay for five, four, three, two, one, return back into your wild thing, stretching your right foot in, uh, right wild thing. Follow the triangle, stretching your right foot in front of you. Take one breath as you inhale. Exhale, left hand down, come out onto your left toes. This is your ninja plank. Keep stretching your left foot all the way out to the side as you take one breath. Inhale, stay or exhale, ninja chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, step back down, facing down. The twist is one of the hardest. I'm warming us up for this. Take one breath and inhale. Open your mouth, slide out. Next inhale, stretch the left leg all the way up to the ceiling. Left toes points down, sit spread down to your ground. Come on to your right foot, steady yourself. Walk your right foot over to your right foot, staying on to the mat if you want to. Option one. Option two, press harder away from your left hand as you reach the right hand all the way up for five. Three, two, one, replace right hand down onto the ground, point the left toes all the way up, lift the right heel off. Exhale, pull the left knee in with the right elbow, spin down onto the inside of the right foot, come up into your fallen triangle, but pull the left knee in close. Now you're gonna twist, open up as you push, point the left knee on the heel, sitting for five, four, three, two, one, stretch the left foot forward until you go into a fallen triangle. Right hand down, come on to your right toes. Ninja plank. Take one breath as you inhale. Option one, stay. Option two, ninja chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch one breath as you inhale. Open your mouth, sorry out. Ha! Next inhale, stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. One more time. After the twist, right knee left, elbow to touch. Same thing as usual, spin down onto the inside of the left foot, reach the left hand up. If possible, maintain a twist. Now, stay onto your right hand, we're going to slowly bend our left knee, reach our right toes in front of the left ankle stick. Inhale, pull it, your left, right knee into a your wrist. Exhale, right toes behind the left ankle as you bend the left knee, I'm going to out of space. Inhale, pull the right knee up to the chest. Exhale, come down into your climb, run knee over to your chest, step right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, rise up into your high lunge pose. Exhale, palms to heart center. Take one breath, inhale. Exhale, twist, elbow, just stepping outside the right knee. Lift your top elbow a little bit more for five. 
for four, for three, for two, one, reach that right hand up, left hand goes down, come up into a revolved lunge. Take one breath as you inhale, as you reach the left hand forward, bring your left leg down, reach forward and lean your right foot, lifting up into your revolved hop wood. Take one breath as you inhale, as you exhale slowly. Bring both hands down to the mat. So then lift the left foot a little bit higher, coming down into your standing split pose. Standing split, take one breath. Make your way back to downward face or however you want to do it, so it's your choice over here. Now that is where we meet. Remember, this is, the very, this is the toughest of all. I need it. Take one breath as you inhale. Open your mouth, slide out. I hope you remember the flow, yeah? And it's inhale, send the left leg up to the ceiling. Add to the twist, left knee right, elbow to touch. Swim down to the inside of the right foot, lift the right hand all the way up. Keep the left knee all the way into your chest. And as you exhale, bend the right knee, straight out the left. Reach your bum towards the back of the mat. Inhale, pull the left knee in with the left wrist touch. Exhale, reach your left toes behind your right ankle and go. Inhale, pull the left knee in, keep it there. Right hand goes down, come onto your right toes. Step left foot forward between your hands. Inhale, rise up into your high lunge pose. Exhale, palms to heart center. Take one breath as you inhale. As you twist, elbow onto your knee, just lightly tap over here. Very nice. For five, for four, for three, for two, and one, reach that right hand up, left hand down, come up into your revolve, lunge. Keep pulling the right hand forward as you reach the right hand forward, right finger down, left hand goes up onto your waist, so you lean forward and come up onto the left foot. For five, for four, for three, for two, and one, both hands down to the ground. Point the left, right toes up, standing splits. Standing splits. However, you want to, make your way back if you want to. Any <sighs> day. Too tired. When you're done, sit back. Either stretch out and down dog or sit back. Because we warmed up into a lot of twists, all of the exercises are meant to help you deepen and be able to hold this twist. So a lot of us end up unwinding when we go into arm balance because this twist is not strong enough. So for a side curl, we're going to practice from a chair here. From a chair, we're going to twist over and try to keep this twist here as we just touch our elbow very lightly. What we're going to do is going to maintain this twist and we're going to slowly come out on our toes, maintaining the twist as you can tell. I haven't lost my twist at all as I go all the way down, I'm still being able to pull. So that's the first one we're going to do and come into this. Your main elbow, which is the front, is where you're going to support. Your other hand does not touch anything. Your other hand just hops in. This is the view. Okay? You notice my elbow doesn't go to my bum, my elbow just stays out. As you practice staying in this twist alone all the way, and as you hook, you're just going to practice pushing your elbow into your thigh and deepening the twist. Then if you want to, you can come up onto your hands and you're going to slowly, keeping a twist, lift your bum up, still pinning this down onto your ground, and you're going to lean forward and just stay. This is where you don't want to untwist yourself. This is where you want to hug your inner thighs together a lot. And I'm going to plug you here and we're going to hold for 10 counts. If you want to hold or you want to lift, lift up, your choice. But this is a twist I want to grow for all of us. So it's not necessary to lift your toes up. But it's very necessary to keep the twist. Okay? Chair pose is where we meet. I'll see you over here. <laughs> chair pose, chair pose. Arms to heart center. Tuck your tail down to the mat. So I'm going to ever go into your... When you go into unbalance, it will happen naturally, but the more you do this drill, the better it is. So squeeze the palms together, touch, and inhale. 
Exhale, twist over to the left. Touch, only touch. You gotta keep the twist. Press into your knee as you twist even more. Hold the twist. Come on to your toes. Squat it down slowly. Hold the twist. Hold the twist. Hold the twist even more. This is my weak side, so hold the twist. Release the left hand down to the ground. Maybe release the right hand down to the ground. Hold the twist. Okay. Now you're going to lean into it, but square your shoulders look forward. Your knee is pointing over to the right side. Keep the twist. For ten. Nine. Keep the twist. Eight. Keep twisting. Seven. Six. Squeeze your knees together. Touch. Five. Keep pushing your elbows into your left knee. Four. Keep the twist. Three. Twist even more. Two. One. Lift up if you want to, or untwist yourself. I'm going to give you a second one to walk all over here. We will start from downward, shorten downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, once you're used to this, you're going to twist your right knee over to your left triceps, and you're going to try to keep this all the way, and you're going to bend your elbows and lean. For those who want to, you can sort of lift, but this is your where you want to be. This foot must go all the way up, but for 10 pounds over here. Okay, the thing, key thing over here is I want you to develop the strength to twist and touch the elbow. You don't have to lift, but you need to be able to touch. Shorten down face up. So don't end up your normal down face up. Shorten it so you're able to bring your knee closer, okay? Press high into your hands. In the next inhale, you can kick your right hand for, for some distance. Exhale, right knee over to your left elbow and touch. When you touch over here, I want you to squeeze your knee even to your elbow 10. 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step back to down dog. Rest down to your knees. Roll your shoulders. Woo! Come sitting down to your mat. Have your knees wide hip width apart and start to lie down onto the mat. Start to press the lower back down onto the mat and slowly keeping both knees bent. I just want you to pull both knees into the side of your chest using only your hip flexors to start to squeeze here. And as you feel your hip flexors squeeze, now use your hands, grab both knees with separate hands and pull your knees even closer down to the chest but at the same time, push your knees back into your hands to keep a very nice neutral back. If you want to feel your hip flexors start to really compress here, and very slowly, as you want your knees a little bit more, you're going to feel the hip flexors uh, compress a little bit more. You feel that sensation. Now, with this sensation, keeping your compression, release your hands and try to maintain the compression for four, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands back to your knees, close the knees together, open out, shake it out over here. Good. Now, bring your both feet down onto the mat again. Back still flat down onto your ground. Very nice. So place your right ankle right here onto your left thigh. Again, using active stretch over here, I want you to flex the right toes and flex the left toes, pointing both, pointing your left toes up to the ceiling. Without using your hands again, can you pull the left knee into the chest, stretching out your right glute muscles by pushing your own left thigh towards your face? This is your own strength on your hip flexors as you use your hands to stabilize your hips down on your ground for five, four, three, two. Now use your hands to help interlace fingers either below your left thigh or in front of your left shin bone. Start to really pull in a little bit more over here. Allow yourself to relax under this figure of four stretch. A little bit more. Now, I want you to use your left hand to grab the outer edge of the right foot, which is resting on your left side. Pull your left foot over to the right side and use the right hand to grab the outer edge of your left foot. With your both knees crossed across each other, I want you to pull both hands in as you kick your foot back into your hands. So you're still cross leg up by lying down. So they release. Both feet down onto the ground, wave from side to side first. Now, place the left heel onto your right thigh. Flex both toes, your right toes must fire to the ceiling, both hands down by your hip to ground yourself down. Using your own strength, pull the right knee in towards your own face and hanging there. As you press down onto your ground, you should be able to pull the right knee even more to your face apart. Four, 
three, try to relax your left arm, two. One, use your hands, interlace fingers wherever they're comfortable, either behind your right thigh or in front of your right shin bone muscles, and start pulling in a little bit more, enjoy the stretch. And slowly release your hands, you're going to start to use your right hand to grab your left, I'll take your foot. Find your other right foot, I'll take your right foot with your left hand, and kick into it as you go into your cross-legged, upside down, uh, lying down, cross-legged pose. You need to kick your foot into your hands and you pull your hands in towards your face so you get a nice stretch along the left foot muscles. For five, four, three, two, one, release, both we'll feet down onto your ground, shake it up. <sighs> Making sure you have space onto both sides of your mat so you have space to drop down, otherwise, you need to probably square out like me where I have to start to face towards this breath. The uh, length of the mat, reach both legs up to the same point, both toes down. Allow your lower back to glue down to the mat a little bit more over here. This stretch just allows you to gently stretch out your own hamstring muscles, especially when you use some effort to just point both toes down towards your face. Keep flexing both toes very slowly, open up your legs. Keep flexing your toes, open up your legs a little bit more. Use your hands to bring on the inside of the thighs and push it down a little bit more over here. What you're doing is you're trying to point both toes down to the floor as you open up your thighs just a little bit. What I'm doing over here is as you point your both toes down to the floor, you're actually using the strength to stretch out your inner thigh muscles. So five, four, three, use the strength of your legs. Nothing is happening. For two, and one, slowly relax, bring both toes up. Point both toes up to the ceiling. Just this round. Good. Now, this time around, hands behind your thighs. I want you to push your thighs back into your hands to glue your lower back down to the ground. And then slowly bend your elbows. Still trying to push your hips down to the ground. You're trying to evenly, slowly adjust. As you pull your hands, bend your elbows a little bit. You're trying to push your bum down to the ground. As you pull your hands a little bit, you're trying to push your bum down to the ground. Just a little bit more, you don't have to go very low. You can have to push your bum down to the ground. Once you go into your deepest hangover, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, hug your knees into the chest. Rock and roll, roll from side to side. Playing the stretch, playing the squeeze, playing the release. Once you're done, tuck your chin in, rock up and down. Eventually, walking yourself up into the sit position. 